This tutorial is on applying multiple materials to one object. And this is the finished result. I'll show you two ways to do this. Try to do it all in just a few minutes. And I'm going to try to do this from scratch. Let me just get rid of this so that there's no cheating. And for my front view, I'll go ahead and create a plane. Notice that this plane that I just made is segmented. And if we look at edit and segmented three um, segments each direction okay so first thing I'll do is let's just zoom in on our perspective viewport so we can see everything nice and big and we'll go right click convert to editable poly go into face subobject mode polygon sub subobject mode excuse me grab just four of these slide up to where it says detach you have a name to your new object which is going to be made of four polyfaces you could detach as an element or a clone but I want a completely separate object and I don't want any copies so hit OK now um, I'm going to go to my material editor with the M shortcut key grab my material apply to object with this button here and close that so one's done now I can grab the other one and uh, what I'm doing now is I deselected this see it was yellow I had to click it to deselect it now I grab the other object because we have two objects here and I'm going to prove that in just a second so I'm going to go to materials again grab my next material apply to object and now we got two materials it looks like on one object but really what I've done is uh, when I did the detach I ended up with two different sets of faces okay so that's the quick and easy way to do it the problem with that is it doesn't work well with uh, like complex characters for example because then when you move one piece the other piece doesn't move and uh, if you try to use group or selection sets or select and link uh, you could have problems certainly with a character so here's a better way to do all that. Let's just do another one. Go back to our front view and use a plane again. And this time what I'm going to do, a little more complex procedure. I'm going to right click, start off the same way, convert to editable poly. And this time I'm just going to grab, again, four faces. I don't want to grab these this time and I'll go all the way up, slide way, way down to material ID, material set ID one, hit one, and hit enter. And then deselect by clicking into the gray area, the background, and now grab the other four. I'm holding down my control key to get all four. Then I'll go to material set ID, type in two, and hit return and don't click anything else now you can deselect and you can go to the next I can deselect even editable poly here and I can go to the modifier list roll down and go all the way down until I get to until I get to poly select okay and poly select I'm going to go ahead and get into polyface subobject mode and get into material ID 1 and hit select. So it knows what material ID 1 is. Okay, so now I'm going to add yet another modifier. Modifier list, drop down to UVW map. Now, what do I want for a map type on this? Well, I probably want a planar map. But it depends. If it's a character, you might want a cylindrical map or something else. And then how big do you want it to be? Normally, it fits pretty good on its own, but I usually click fit just to make sure. Okay, now what do I want to do? I want another poly select because I have two groups here, don't I? So I'm going to go to poly select again. And what do you think I'm going to do now? I'm going to get poly face. I'm going to say I want select by material ID, ID 2, and hit select. Then what? Well, before we did UVW mapping, so let's do that again. 
And I know I'm kind of repeating some of this because I want you to see the logic of it. Um, not unwrap, but UVW map will do unwrap another time. And just slide on up, do the fit, map channel 2, fit. Okay. So we should be good. Let's find out. So I'm going to just go to, well, I'm going to select the object. I'm going to go to materials, grab this first material. Oh, we're not actually done with the materials yet. There's a new material we need. Let's use this one. This is a blank one. Um, so I'll just make show that it's blank. There's nothing on it. It does have a name. Um, actually, I want to show you this part from scratch. So let me go to a brand new material we haven't used yet. Um, in fact, let's use this. Okay, here's a basic material type. So I'm going to give it a name. That'll be my multiple material. And I'll go to... I've got to go to parent. This used to be bricks, so don't get thrown off by that. That'll be my multiple material name. And I'm going to click on standard because I want to change it. It's not going to be standard anymore. I'll click on it. And I'll say I want a multi-subobject material. So I'll double click that. Do you want to discard the old material or keep the old material? I want to discard it. So hit OK. Now, how many different materials do you want in this one material? I'm going to click on set number and say I really just want two because I'm just trying to show how it works. OK, so what do you want from materials? Well, I'm going to give these names, M1 and M2. The better your names, the better. Um, easier it is to track it later. OK, so the hard part or the tricky part, get that material into this slot. OK, so I'm going to grab this material and drag it and release it where it says material 39 here. Do you want an instance or do you want a copy? I want a copy because I might want to play around with it and make it separate. Now this one, press, drag, and drop right onto the material name. I want a copy. OK, so now apply this multiple material that is in this selected box to the object by hitting this little button. And close the window, and that's it. So now we have one object with two materials on it. 